Good evening, thanks for joining us. Tonight we're hearing from the city of College Station after a lawsuit was filed alleging a cover up involving a man killed by police during a search warrant. The family of Mark Hopkins says false police statements led to the judge issuing a search warrant and CSPD still refuses to release evidence related to the case. The city though says it's done nothing wrong. Donnie Tuggle investigates. In a 10 page court document filed in Brazos County today, the family of Mark Hopkins says they're seeking to force the city to quote, uncover the full truth about what led to his untimely and unjustifiable death. The city says while they sympathize with the family, they strongly disagree with the statements made by the family's attorney. Stonewalling the cover up needs to end. Seven months after College Station police conducted what they say was a knock and announce warrant at a duplex on Spring Loop, the family of Blaine College student Mark Hopkins says police and the city are covering up what really happened early that February morning that led to his death. Mike Doyle is the family's attorney. Everybody, not just this family, needs answers about how an officer can swear under oath, false statements in an affidavit, get a warrant, and then a young man's killed and there's no questions answered. Mark's parents claim that the police warrant alleges he received money from an accused high-level drug dealer at the focus of the investigation, something they say is untrue. Once they shared the warrant with us and we read through it, we realized that, you know, it wasn't true that they, you know, he had no interaction with him financially. Or monetarily. And the family says CSPD has only been willing to provide attorneys with what they say is highly edited body camera footage of what they call an explosive military style raid and fails to show everything that led to Mark's death. You know, when they kicked down the door to, they kicked in his bedroom door after that and there was an exchange of gunfire and that was, you know, awful as that is. There's stuff leading up to that, but just we need to get to the truth. Find out if they did it correctly. In a statement, the city says the Texas Rangers conducted an independent, thorough, fair, and transparent investigation, and the city is confident in their findings. They also say the Brazos County Grand Jury also reviewed the matter and returned a no bill, finding no criminal conduct by the officer involved. Attorneys are now calling on the city and police to reverse course and set the record straight for the Hopkins family and for the public the police department serves. The officer who actually fired the fatal shots was no billed by the grand jury, so there's really not any legitimate reason at this point that the family and the public for that matter ought not to be able to see the facts. The city says they will respond accordingly to the petition to investigate the claim before a suit is filed as the matter is related to a pending criminal case. In studio, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. In other news tonight, a 